Okay, so this is the salad I've made. I've uh, cut up the lettuce leaves. I've added some tomato, some avocado, some cucumber, okay. some baked tofu I made the other day, and of course some nutritional yeast. And I've made a, a dressing with um, a little chili in there. And we've got uh, apple cider vinegar, tamari, and maple syrup. And then we're going to have with that some, we're going to have some cultured vegetables for beetroot and the um, the radish that I got at the garden the other day and I've got some sweet potato chips in the oven. We've just raised the stand for the dragon fruit and I've put wire along the fence so that it can grow along the wire. Now we had a little melon growing out of it which has just gone berserk and I think this is only about a week to two weeks growth and it's huge. It's either a pumpkin or a watermelon. Just look at the size of it and it's growing all the way down. And it's just about to reach the ground and then I'll let it grow in this garden over here okay our little sour sop is in here this is a nut milk bag and she's getting to be a good size now so this normally keeps out the fruit flies so I thought I might help with insects and fruit flies and keep them away from our one sour sop <laughs> So the garden's starting to look a little bit ratty now. There's some that are growing well, it's growing well, and so is that, and the asparagus. But all the other bits are looking a bit ratty and everything's a little bit dry. So I'm gonna do a bit of a revamp. Got the, um, the passion fruit growing again, which is good, and the tomatoes are not too bad. But a lot of this stuff I'm gonna pull out. So the uh, lettuces uh, now look like they're going to seed. Looks like a nice little forest. You get the flower on there which will be the seeds so I'm just going to wait a little bit before I pull them out so you can't really eat them now maybe a few of the leaves on that one the, um, the Thai basil's going good and this one seems to be it's growing well but it's getting eaten a lot but then my new lettuces in there so I have to plant them shortly everything else is looking tatty uh, we've got a lot of uh, tomatoes on but the vine's sort of dying off now. So we're just waiting for all the tomatoes to ripen and then I'll cut the back start again. Uh, take a lot of this ratty stuff out now. Uh, looks like the um, silver beet is going to seed a bit too. So I'll still use some of these in my green smoothies. But I just want to do a bit of an overhaul. So these two gardens here, I'm going to keep to just the greens. I'm going to make a big frame somewhere for these types of tomatoes because they're just falling all over the other stuff. Of course, got some nice um, parsley there growing. We can see all the green tomatoes. A couple of red ones coming on. We just need them to all ripen. And then I can pull the thing down and just cut it back hiding in there somewhere there you are. hello so yep time to give the garden an overhaul it's been quite an interesting experience so far but um, we need to get fertilizer in there and get it uh, revamped so here's my blueberry bush I've got it in the shade and the blueberries on so so far I haven't seen any insects or anything after it so hopefully let me get some blueberries. There we, are. we have another new plant in here. It's a Cape gooseberry. You can see the gooseberries on there. Um, they'll turn a brown papery colour and then you can eat them. There's a little wall inside of that. I've eaten a few of the green ones. Um, so when I go to eat it, I'll show it to you. Beautiful. I've also got a raspberry going pretty well now. It's a bit sick but now she looks like 
she's going to survive. Then we've got the other gooseberry here, and that seems to be okay now. It was a little bit sick as well. She's growing and she's standing up right. So there we have it. Okay, and then some potatoes. This was just near the top. It's a little bit green. Take that off. I just found this one here. It looks an old one. That may be what they've grown out of. So I might take a little bit yellow. I know they've had flowers on. I might sort of pull them out. There was no plant there, so it must be from the one I picked the other day. So I'll go get a fork and see what we can find. So that came out with my potatoes. Oh, I just I spiked it. Good on your hand. I'll just clean them up and eat them anyway. So there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so the little one here. Got the old potato. Right off. Or was it? Oh, it's pretty good. Let's check the ground. Look at that. So these plants are bigger, so, you know, we don't need that many potatoes. There we are. See, it's on the root there. I can see something over here. Whoa, look at that. Woohoo. Over here. See there, there's the potato. I'm not sure if these are what they grew out of, but they seem pretty much intact. So, yep. spiked one again. You can just pull it. We've got one there, one there. What I might do with these purple ones is these two, which could be the seed potato. I might just plant them back in again. All out. There's our potato hole. And there's the new ones I put in, and they're growing a bit healthier than the first lot. So, don't have to pull them out yet. So here's the new potatoes. I'm past steaming them, and then I'm going to put them in the oven. Then I'm going to let them cool, so we can have like cool roast potatoes as a little snack. I'm going to make the green juice. We had one yesterday and just repeating it today. So I've got celery. This is actually Italian parsley. Um, I've got kale, dill, and I've got some pineapple and apple to sweeten it up a bit and cucumber in there. I think that's about it. Yep, so we had that yesterday. It wasn't too bad but the pineapple's a bit sweeter today so that might help to get it down. So yeah, I'll make that up and then that's going to be our lunch. Okay, so we're part way through, so I'm just going to put some in the mason jars so we don't overfill fill it. Beautiful colour. I've got a couple of pieces of pineapple in there by the look of it. Apple and pineapple, everything's gone. Put the celery or something hard in last to set all the juices out. Okay, so well, like I said, we're on the fruit, mainly fruit, so um, that goes along with herbs. So celery is a herb, dill is a herb. The uh, parsley is a herb, the celery is actually a herb, the apples are fruit and the pineapples are fruit. So we're basically um, sticking with the fruit except for the um, except for the kale, which could also be a herb and not 100% sure. So that's finished, so we'll turn it off. Okay. 
Yeah. We get these even. Well, it gets a little bit more in, then that's for Dave. He's the one that needs it, so that'll be his, and that's mine. So there we have it, the lunch in a jar.